I review a lot of vacuums. It's actually a really popular topic from robot vacuums and mops to cordless stick vacuums. There's a lot to cover. But one area I haven't spent a lot of time on yet is a mini or a handheld vacuum. But that's about to change since the Tyneco Pure One Mini S4 here arrived in my test kitchen. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and this small, portable, rechargeable handheld vacuum is designed to be a handy go-anywhere vacuum for spills and dust. In this review, I'll look at what it can do, how powerful it is, how well it cleans, what it's good for, plus if you stick with me, I'll talk about the price and whether I can recommend it to you. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, So what's and in the from. box? The package looks a little more complicated than it really is, so let's unpack together, okay? Inside, you get just a couple of accessories here. The first one out of the box is an upholstery nozzle with a velvety kind of grip designed to trap things like pet hair. Next, there's an extension nozzle, and it's actually got a handy little flip-up brush. You get a cleaning tool and some mounting hardware if you do want to hang it up, plus, not surprisingly, the requisite power plug. Now, let's get to the good stuff. In addition to the small cylindrical vacuum, you do get a base that doubles as a charging station. Getting this vacuum up and running takes virtually no time at all. Just plug it in and let it get charged. When it's ready, you'll press the power button. There's an additional max button to add more power if you need it, but the vacuum really just has two speeds, auto and max. When the dustbin fills up, you'll lift the latch on the back of the handle and slide the dustbin forward to dump it out. The dustbin, like the vacuum, is small, holding about 0.2 of a liter or just over three quarters of a cup and would require frequent emptying. There's a metal mesh HEPA filter inside to trap smaller particles. Conveniently, both the dustbin and the metal filter are washable. It goes without saying, perhaps, that this is not meant to be a powerful vacuum. It's a handy vacuum meant for quick cleaning of small spills. With 90 watts of power, it's not a powerhouse, but it's not supposed to be either. To test this vacuum out, I tried using it on a variety of different things. The Mini is good at dusting and easily and deftly handled things like leaves from a leftover flower arrangement on my desk, and with the brush attachment slid on, it tidied up my keyboard well. It was good at getting into smaller spaces too, like baseboards. You can use the vacuum, of course, with or without the attachments. Without the attachments, it's kind of meant for bigger jobs, while with the extender on, it definitely helps it become more nimble. I also tried out the upholstery attachment and found it definitely helped pull in more pet hair. The small size of this vacuum also helped me easily get under and between the cushions. Even so, it did take a few passes to really suck in all the pet hair that I found back in there. To check the suction power, I devised a couple of tests. I used the Tyneco Pure One Mini S4 to pick up things like flour, rice, and crackers from both carpeted surfaces and from hard flooring. It was surprisingly good even on the lower setting, inhaling all the debris from the floors pretty easily. Same deal on carpets, though the bigger cracker pieces did get caught up in the fibers and made it a little more work. I also used this vacuum to clean up some areas in the car, and it is really good for getting into small spaces here in particular. The Tyneco Pure One Mini S4, like other Tyneco vacuums, uses a small LED light loop, or the eye loop sensor it's called, that purports to show you when it's cleaning dirtier areas. As with my previous experience with this technology, I think it's, to be quite honest, a bit of an unnecessary marketing gimmick. In my experience with it, the light changes kind of randomly. It's supposed to turn red on dirtier areas to show you when it's working harder and picking up more stuff. Mine changed seemingly for no reason, even when I wasn't picking up any debris at all. Overall, I don't know how well this technology actually works, and I think it's unnecessary because the vacuum is capable all on its own. With a full battery, and that battery, by the way, comes in at about 2,000 milliamp hours when it comes to the power, and when you're using this in auto mode, the Tyneco Pure One Mini S4 should give you about 26 minutes of total runtime. If you want to use max power, that's going to cut your total runtime to just 12 minutes. Clearly, this vacuum is aimed at being a handy way to vacuum small accumulations, but not for bigger, longer cleaning jobs. A full charge does take about three to four hours. That is a long time for the short runtime of the vacuum, in my opinion. 
The solution to this is kind of what you can see here. Keep it stored on its charging cradle when it's not in use. Overall, I really like this little vacuum. It is light but powerful, it's super portable, and it would be great for bringing in the van or the RV or even for cleaning out the tent at the end of your camping trip. It was handy in so many situations around my house and it has really good suction for a vacuum this size. So what are the downsides? Well, the battery life could be a little longer in my opinion and it does take a while to charge. But if you keep it stored on its charging base here, that shouldn't be an issue. I also didn't find the eye loop sensor to be very valuable, but I guess that's okay because the machine does a great job all on its own, light show or no light show. Overall, I can definitely recommend the Tyneco Pure One Mini S4 for you. It sells for about 149 US or 199 Canadian, and you can get it from either Tyneco's website or from Amazon. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about here, head over to techgadgetscanada.com for a full write-up. There you can ask me any questions you have about this mini vacuum. You can also post them here in comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.